Hey everybody, welcome to another video from Router 2 Brief. Welcome, welcome. Today I'm going to do a little unboxing and show you how I put the copepods in my saltwater tank. Now, when you get anything, you're supposed to quarantine it. Corals, saltwater fish, for weeks, six to eight weeks, before it goes in your aquarium because you don't want to risk bringing in parasites or anything like that. I'm not gonna get into that. I've got other videos on that on the channel. <clears throat> but with algae barn and reef cleaners, if you wanna get inverts, snails, crabs, you know, stuff like that, turbo snails to clean the algae and all these other things, that's reef cleaners or algae barn for copepods. You don't have to quarantine a thing. They don't have fish on premises. Everything's clean, everything's great. You can just put it in your aquarium and you're done. So, here to explain what copepods are is Vincent Price. A copepod is a small crustacean that belongs to the subclass copepoda. These tiny organisms are found in both freshwater and marine environments and play a vital role in the ecosystem. In a saltwater aquarium, Copepods serve as valuable and beneficial inhabitants, contributing to the overall health and balance of the aquatic environment. Copepods are an essential part of the natural food chain in the ocean. They are primary consumers, feeding on microscopic algae and other organic matter. As they graze on these food sources, copepods become a nutritious prey item for larger organisms, such as fish, corals, and other invertebrates. Thus, Copepods form a crucial link in the transfer of energy from primary producers to higher trophic levels. In a saltwater aquarium, introducing copepods can have numerous advantages. First and foremost, copepods serve as a live food source for many marine organisms. Many fish species, including clownfish and seahorses, actively hunt and consume copepods as part of their natural diet. By providing copepods, aquarium owners can ensure that their fish receive a diverse and nutritionally balanced diet. Additionally, copepods contribute to the overall ecosystem stability within the aquarium. They aid in maintaining water quality by consuming excess organic matter and algae, helping to prevent the buildup of detritus and keeping the aquarium clean. Copepods also play a role in nutrient cycling as they excrete waste products, which can be further utilized by beneficial bacteria and corals. Furthermore, copepods can contribute to the natural behavior and ecological harmony of a saltwater aquarium. Their presence provides opportunities for natural foraging and hunting behaviors among the resident fish and invertebrates. Watching fish actively search and consume copepods can be an enjoyable and enriching experience for aquarium enthusiasts. Overall, copepods are a valuable addition to a saltwater aquarium ecosystem. Their role as natural grazers, live food sources, and contributors to water quality makes them beneficial inhabitants. By fostering a population of copepods in a saltwater aquarium, enthusiasts can support a more dynamic, balanced, and thriving marine environment. Okay, now that you guys have an idea of what copepods are, let's open this box. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Come with the heating pads and the jar of the copepods. 5280 pods, 5,280 roughly. And these pods will seed your aquarium, increase the pod populations, and they also will feed finicky fish. Let me see if I can pronounce this. In here are Apocloclops, apoc, apoc, apocloclops, Tisby, and Tigerpaus, whatever. Um, so yeah, once a month I have this sent to me. It's like 40 bucks. I don't know if you can see them in there. They're so tiny. Like looks like um, little specks of dust floating in there. Larger than dust, actually. Let's see if I can... I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see anything. No, you're not going to be able to see anything. But they're in there, and you look close, you can see them zipping around, moving around. There's a lot. There's a lot. So what I'm going to do is float this in the sump so the water temperature will match my aquarium. Then it's important to turn off all the pumps, open the jar at night with your lights off, 
and dump the entire contents in your aquarium. This will give the pods a chance to settle into the rock, into the sand, and move around. And also, your fish won't eat them. It gives them a chance to hide. What you can do to have your pods populate is to get like pod condos, or you can just get a bit of rock rubble, a pile of rocks, put them in the corner of your aquarium, you know, a couple inches tall, a few inches tall. These guys are so small. Some place where they can live where the fish can't get to them. Remember, they're going to live in the sand, in the rocks, in the deep crevices of your rock and your sump. And contrary to popular belief, when they go through your system, into your sump, through all the tubes, and get sucked back up into your aquarium, these guys are so small, the return pumps will not chop them up when the water goes back into your aquarium via, via the return pumps. So I was watching some other videos too, as a side note, and they say that it's not necessary to put pods in your aquarium a lot unless you've got like a mandarin fish who relies heavily on these guys. If you don't have these, mandarin will die. And it's important to have one mandarin roughly for every 75 gallons of aquarium water because that's about how many pods this guy's gonna go through in a week. So it's, it would be great to have these sent once every couple months if you do have a mandarin goby. Beautiful fish, I used to have a couple of them. Comment below, do you guys order pods? Do you have them shipped to your house regularly? Or did you just dose one time and let it go? I would recommend getting at least a jar of these guys a few months after you, maybe six months after you start your saltwater tank and it's established and you've got a couple fish. Let your tank establish for at least six months and get these guys going. Although you will see the little specks. Have you ever seen the little specks on your aquarium glass, your rocks moving around. You're like, what are those little bugs? Well, that's what a pod is. That's what your pods are. You'll see them in your returns, crawling on everything. They're tiny, but some of them can get a little big, like a millimeter in size. So you will see them. So that's it. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.